hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nisi the beauty icon so glad to be back So let's start with the basics. You have to know your pattern. Now looking at this pattern, you have to begin small and work your way up. So here on my mannequin head, you can kind of see the ideal pattern. Now let's begin. So I'm starting with my smaller track. And also notice there's a slight curvature once I get to the end. But as I go higher, the tracks get longer. And you see I'm using the two um, tracks at one time but you can use one if that's what you're comfortable with once we get over the ear we're going in a u-shaped pattern all the way up to the top and we're going to get to a place where we can complete where our sides are going to be now you notice when I mold her hair, I didn't mold over the hairline because I wanted that area not to be um, stressed with the gluing on top of it because it's already thin. So this is a good stopping point to go ahead and start uh, trimming the sides. You want to uh, lift the hair on the bottom so you can kind of feel how much hair is being uh, cut off as you razor your hair um, that's just my safety net so I won't go in and overly cut the hair and using this technique also allow me to have a feel of how much hair is getting cut while I'm cutting And the key thing is not to rush the cut, but to just kind of take your time and make sure that their hair is really, really um, blending in uh, naturally. So as we get closer to the back, same thing, you want to kind of take your time and graze the hair smoothly. Um, we're not going in chopping the hair or hacking the hair per se. We want to make sure that the razor is sliding down the hair strands. Reiterating here, I'm taking my finger under the last couple of layers and I'm allowing the hair to kind of slide through my fingers as I see what I'm cutting. And that way, I'm not taking chunks of hair out. The hair is, is being cut slowly and precisely. And I'm just going to kind of speed this up right here because I think you guys got the overall method of how to really make that hair look natural while cutting with your razor. So once we finish cutting down our sides and the back, we can go ahead and start tracking the top again. And so again, I'm starting with my U 
shape, track placement. And this time I'm gluing three tracks at a time just to expedite the process. So once I'm done with the sides, I can start in the center and I'm doing a heavy bang look. So I'm just going straight across the head. And I'm gonna fill that all the way in until I get to my center point. So now that I'm close to my center point, I'm going to create a circle pattern so I can fill in the middle. tracking the hair it's time to cut so you can already kind of see the shape that the hair is in I just start around the perimeter of the hair and do a basic outline or guideline should I say and once I get my guide going I can go in and add my layers So now we can line up the edges a little bit just to give that definite line. Now some of you might not like the line, uh, but I prefer the line. But it doesn't matter. Wherever your creative juices take you, make sure you go there. Okay, now that we're finished curling, we can go ahead and style it as please.
So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you guys learned a lot. Uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your post notification button for more updates. Thank you guys so, so, so much and you be blessed.